Hey guys, wanna know what never, ever, ever to buy at Target? I'll show you. And I've also got some new favorites from our Target that I'm gonna show you as well. Cause I'm a total fangirl of Target. I have been for years. Why? Because they have a philosophy around their product development that is really in tune with higher end and what people want to see, but at a super affordable price. So ready? Let's go. So when you are strolling down the aisles of Target, you want to just move on past the following. Oh my God, really? Convertible futons? Are you kidding me? Get a sofa. All futons say that you're basically living in a college dorm room. And that's, I know, not the look you want. At least not if you're watching this channel. The second thing that you totally want to avoid is dinette sets. Oh, really? That is a completely outmoded idea to have a table and chairs all look the same. They're kind of inexpensive looking. That's a no-go. So there's a lot of great solutions. Don't worry, I've got you covered. We'll show you all of those. The third thing, whoo, you wanna scoot on by this one too, is this desk. Oh my, this is, this is a corner desk in an unattractive detailing. And you just wanna pass that up. I've got a lot of great options over there that Target has, and I'm gonna show you those. But this is a no-go. Take your finger off the buy now button. Okay, run in the other direction. Do not even look back on a matching outdoor dining set. What? Yuck. Okay, and last, Get to the moon before you pick up this ugly plastic room divider. It is yicky. It's got ugly hinges. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're heading to a whole new direction, new aisle. I'm going to show you exactly what to get. So guys, what I love about Target is that back in the 90s, they sort of repositioned their product development conceptualization. Because you know, they realized that everybody wants things that look good and can function, but are reasonably priced and accessible. And so they got really smart about all of their brand collaborations. And in fact, they just announced that they are doing a new collab with Levi's for some really fun stuff that I'm gonna show you. But they've also got Studio McGee, which is really wonderful collaboration that's brought out some beautiful home products. They've had Project 62 for a couple of years, which is kind of an ode to the year that they opened their doors. And it's got some really fun mid-century modern stuff that I really like. And then they've also got this sassy little line called Opal House for home, which is very sort of kind of boho. It has a little bit of a maximalism vibe. It's very fun and happy. And this is all good products and reasonably priced. So let's take a look at some things that would be good options instead of all that junk that I showed you at the beginning. Now, remember that futon that I showed you at the beginning? Oh, I have a great little sub for that. Look at this darling sort of formed beanbag chair. And this is part of the new collab with Levi's. So it's got reclaimed denim. Ooh, we always love that because of sustainable design. And then the inside is this yummy shearling. I would crash out in this in a second. And then they added this fun little shearling poof to go with it. Oh, I love this. They even added a cute little butterfly chair that's got the shearling on the inside as well. Both of these are great little solutions, way better than that futon. And I think that they would definitely work for you if you needed good seating options or you needed something kind of super casual. So next is a solution to the really outdated concept of a dinette set. Oh my gosh, our mothers had those things and they were fine, but ooh, we have a lot of other fun options. I adore this little table from Studio McGee. It's called the Bell Canyon Dining Table. Super nice little simple wood table. And you know, they put it in with some fun chairs that match it there, but we know better than to do a matching look, right guys? So 
What I would pair this with is any number of cute little chairs, like the Copley, which I adore, which is from their Project 62, a little bit kind of mid-century with the little splayed leg, that's kind of fun. Or if you wanted to take the table in another direction, pair it up with these lovely Windsor back chairs. I love them, they come in this gray, or even a pop of a little fun turquoise. All of this is way more interesting and still very reasonably priced and gives you a way more bespoke look for your dining space. So now let's address desks. Ugh, not that one. But if you need a desk, I often default to Ikea. So you could check out my video on home office stuff at Ikea. However, Target has some really wonderful little solutions. I fell in love with this little Portola Hills caned desk. How groovy and on trend is this little sweet piece? And you can see it's not very big, so it fits into smaller space as well, but it has that wonderful storage on the side, which is great. Also from Studio McGee and Threshold. So it's just really well designed to go into a home environment since so many of us are working from home. Designer approved desk at Target. Now, I'm so excited because we're all sort of peering around the corner at spring just a little bit. Yay, I'm so ready. And what's exciting is that we can all start dining outside, of course. Now, not with that dinette set, that is not gonna happen. But look at the great options that they have here. Oh my gosh, I love this Bluffdale table. Oh my God, the sexy little legs that kind of cut in and cut out like that. Nice wood top. Now, what you'd want to do is pair this with a mix of chairs. Oh, and they've got a ton to choose from. Like, I love this woven rattan one. Also from Opal House, that sassy little kind of boho style collection that they've got. Or if you want to do something a little bit more basic, you could do the woven armchair that's fine and it's got that nice little gray interwoven. That looks cute as well. Or, oh, there's some rattan pieces that I absolutely love, also from Opal House. One's a little folding chair that you could put on the side, or another one has this little armchair with a little bit of the black accent. How can you go wrong with any of this? And you get an umbrella from them as well. You're covered and you've got super sexy outdoor little space. And who doesn't want to be outside right now? Okay, so now let's talk about room dividers. Now room dividers can play three roles. You can have them as a feature element, like I showed in the small spaces video. Oh, I'm still drooling over that one. Or you can have them as a room divider that absorbs sound. So if you need to be in your desk and concentrating, that's okay too. Or you can just have them as a lovely accent piece, maybe in a corner, something like that. So it depends upon what you need, but Target actually has a number of great little options. Like, take a look at this one. I fell in love with these wood patterned ones. Ooh, if you guys are mid-century modern or doing any of those kinds of design style statements, oh, this would be fabulous for you. Ooh, maybe you're even Japandi. That would be great for this look. And they're super elegant looking. Now, if you're into farmhouse, they have this sweet little one that's, you know, it's simple. It's a little whitewashed, Venetian shutter style. That's a great look, especially, you know, for, for farmhouse or a little bit of a, you know, a country vibe, that would be good. Now, if you're needing some sound absorbing help, they actually have a whole little collection of printed canvas pieces. Now, you wanna screech on by the ones that are printed that look like the faux master pieces. No, 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 don't go there. What is good though, is I love the ones that are printed to look a little bit like architectural details. I love this little one that looks like a three panel door. Oh, that's a great look. And remember they're the printed canvas, so they will help with sound bounce and sound absorbing easily. Or you could even do this cute little black and white damask one. I love this one. This would be great in a lot of different styles and it's super sassy. So you could really make it an accent piece or you could let it just be the sound absorbing room divider that you need. So guys, I hope these tips are super helpful. And if they are, I would so appreciate it 
if you would subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell so that you know next time that I drop a video. <laughs> and... <laughs> And if you want to find out a little bit more info about the design club, be sure and go to lisaholt.com, sign up there, and I'll let you know all what's going on with that. Now, the next step is before you grab your wallet and start spending money is you want to be sure and check out this video here, which is all about mistakes that you can easily make before you spend money. Now, you can click the link right here. So that's your next step before you go. And I'll see you guys next week.